Chains Part 6 by Dustin O'Nash Narrated by Vern Henderson As he emerged from behind the door at the top of the staircase, I saw the hobbled freak in full view for the first time. He was probably in his early fifties. Rural mountain life had not been kind to him. His tall frame was wrapped in ruddy, mottled skin that probably hadn't been washed in this decade. In one of his stained hands, he carried a metal tool that may once have been a gardening implement. It was now something much more dangerous. A sharp, three-pronged, hook-like device that seemed to lock onto his hand. The strange leg device that he lugged around was made almost entirely of rebar. It seemed to be a splint of some type, very clearly homemade. It prevented the movement of his right leg entirely and had to weigh upwards of 20 pounds. The corner of the cage dragged on the ground as he turned to face me at the top of the stairs. We locked eyes and a crazed grin widened his long, stern face. His gaze unnerved me. I knew he was the reason I was here and that I'd probably have to kill him to get out. He spoke, but the growing ringing in my ears made it difficult to hear anything he said. My body suddenly became very heavy and I found myself struggling to keep my footing, even while still. I leaned on the wall for support. The only sound I could make out was his laugh as I rounded the corner back towards the catacombs. There had to be another way out of this place. I just needed some time for this to pass. I could hear the woman scream again as I stumbled blind through the tunnels. The thought of leaving her with that freak sickened me further, but I was as good as dead in my current state if I faced him there. I made my way deep into the caverns, trying to put as much distance and as many corners as I could between me and that mangled menace. I heard nothing except the ringing. The utter darkness of the underground at night was horrifying in its own right. My only redeeming thought was that if I couldn't see them, they couldn't see me. At least I hoped that was the case. <laughs>